How far can you go with Jesus as you carry your own cross? A blessed day, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. There are countless stories about trials and tribulations that went on for so long and one such story that comes to mind is about actor Michael J. Fox, famous for his movie Back to the Future, among others. The actor discovered he had Parkinson's disease, an illness traditionally associated with older people when he was 29 back in 1991. Today, he is 61 years old. Parkinson's is a condition which impacts nerve cells in the brain and affects muscle function and speech. A few years ago, he told Hot Living, I was diagnosed 25 years ago and I was only supposed to work for another 10 years. I was supposed to be pretty much disabled by now. I'm far from it. This is as bad as I get. I can still go to the store and go marketing. In 1998, when he testified in front of Congress about awareness and research for the condition, it took seven years between when I was diagnosed and when I went public with it. Quote and unquote, Fox said on CBS Sunday morning, since then, he has been on a crusade to help find a cure. The actor has raised millions of dollars towards Parkinson's research through his Michael J. Fox Foundation, which has funded more than $100 million in medical research. It has been a 32-year battle with Parkinson's for Michael J. Fox, the illness being his cross. But it seems that time is on his side. As a respected doctor, he has used his platform powerfully to find a cure, not just for himself, but for numerous others. In today's Gospel, Jesus calls us to costly obedience. We are always reminded that discipleship comes with a price tag shaped in a form of a cross. Are we willing to deny ourselves pick up our cross and follow Him? Life typically presents us with a variety of crosses. Some of them are more difficult than the others. However, it is not easy to accept the cross, be that illness, financial challenges, family difficulties, unemployment, depression, etc. However, what may be helpful or detrimental to us is how we view our cross. Do we view it as a burden or punishment? Or do we believe that crosses simply are part of our lives, just as joy, misery, and love are part of our human existence? The reality of being human means that we will suffer, just as we will experience peace, comfort, and joy. But the gift is, when we are carrying a cross, Jesus is with us, and He will surely help and share in carrying the heavy load. During difficult moments, it will be helpful to try to look beyond our cross and ask ourselves, What are the gifts that I am blessed with? Simply put, it will be wise and prudent to count our blessings in times of trials and tribulations, and we will be surprised that as we pick up our cross and follow Jesus to Calvary, our blessings undoubtedly will far outweigh our sufferings. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord God, I wish to deny myself, take up my cross, and follow you. 
give me the strength to deny the pleasures of this sinful world so that on judgment day I may inherit the kingdom of heaven. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.